Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another hair video. In today's video, let me turn my phone on silent. Um, in today's video, we are going to be kind of reviewing and doing a first impression and also applying this new wig that I got. This is from Lavy Hair and I will have all the details down below, but it's a brown wig, y'all. Y'all know. I mean, maybe you don't know, but me and non-black wigs are just kind of like okay but, but 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 i wanted to give it a try because i've personally never worn anything other than black besides like when i do like an ombre um i've done an ombre and then i've like dyed it purple before so you know not too out of my realm but still out of my realm but let me show you what the wig looks like this is it coming right out of the um the bag so it did come in this silk bag so you can keep it in the silk bag they also sent over uh, a couple of wig caps but they sent over a really dark color and i don't like to use that color but this silk bag i'm really actually glad that they sent that over because honestly like when i take off my wigs like i just be throwing them in my closet like i don't keep them on a wig cap or anything like that um, but it also came in this little netting bag. So this is what the wig actually came in. It also has a fish netting and it has, this is what it looks like. So let me show you exactly what it looks like. It's very, very, very soft and it is like that wet and wavy kind of texture. So I don't know if the color is, if it, if the camera is giving you the actual color, but it is a full lace wig. And it looks like it's actually um, pre-plucked, but I don't think the knots are bleached. But I'm not sure. Because you know, I'm, I'm a beginner too. Okay, so upon further inspection, I don't think that the knots are bleached. I do have bleach. I'm not like the best at it because anytime that I freaking do this, I like... It like seeps through which means i think i have it a little too watery so i'm going to um give it another whirl and give it a try and test it out um but if you weren't gonna do because i'm gonna do a ball cap method uh, i like to do that because i think that it lays the wigs a little bit better it looks more sleek and everything like that so if you weren't gonna do that there are three clips one on this side the other side so here here and then one up up top to kind of secure your wig so that way it ain't flying all around the place and then it does have one at the bottom it does have a little bit of lace down here at the bottom in case you wanted to like pull it up into a ponytail whatever it may be and then there are some clips on the side so you can secure it and tighten it personally for me i like my wig kind of like i'm gonna place it and then i'll show you this is where I like to apply my wigs. So I usually apply it like right, right underneath of the clip because it's tight enough. I feel like it's secured enough and it just, it just, it's good. It's good. So I went ahead, brought my girl Susie out. This is my wig head. Um, I can already see the baby hair, so it already seems like pre-plucked and everything, which is really nice. Um, they didn't specify on whether or not it was pre-plucked, but it seems to be that way. The hair is extremely, extremely soft, so I'm actually loving that. Really loving that. It feels so soft, and I'm actually really, really loving it. I'm excited to place it on my head. Um, I don't think I'm going to part her today, um, because usually I do a middle part, so I would just kind of like, you know, part her right down the middle and then just do it like this, but I've been, excuse me, I've been loving the way that a side part kind of looks, so I think I might do a deep side part with this curl, and then she's going to be wet, so she's going to be all nice and cute. And we're just loving her, but you could definitely thin her out around the edges if that's something that 
you wish for. Also, the more that you kind of curl her out, the bigger she becomes. So she was definitely more slim when I first brought her out, but I've just been finger combing it and she definitely becomes a little more voluminous. So if you like that voluminous kind of hair style look, then definitely, definitely, definitely give her a curl. Uh, give her a, um, a whirl, but yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna use this uh, Redken 25 Benefits One United. It's like an okay. It's like an all-in-one spray. It's not gonna load in, but I did have some overprocessed moss on my on my knots. So um, yeah, we're just we're just gonna. Don't listen to me, okay? I'm not a professional hairstylist. I'm not a hair guru. Trust your girl. Now when it comes to the makeup tip, okay, I'm still learning when it comes to hair, so you just have to have to forgive me, okay? You have to forgive me. Okay. So the hair looks so pretty once it's like wet. And I'm gonna put some mousse on it and let it sit for a while while I do my makeup. Well, not let it sit. I'm gonna put it on my head, but I'm gonna put some mousse in it. So, so pretty. Let me touch it up. So you guys can get the full. Isn't that so pretty? Such a pretty texture. I'm gonna use my foam wrapping lotion. I love this stuff. I use this on all of my curly wigs. It just really helps enhance the curl. Gives it a nice shine. Makes it look pretty, smell good. Okay, so I have this pack of like, I think they got like 10 stockings or something, wig caps. I got it on Amazon. I think it was like four bucks or something. So it wasn't very expensive. Um, it was prime as well. But it really last. it's been lasting me. I think I still have like two, four, six, seven wig caps left. So that's really good. Oh, I took one off already. So my braids are raggedy. Clearly, um, I need them done again. My mom told me she was going to uh, braid my hair again. We were at the gym and she was like, oh, I'm going to braid your hair this weekend. I'm like, girl, bye. Like, I'm just going to put a wig cap on it. And she was just like, no, I'm going to braid them. So I'm going to take this wig cap. This is what it looks like. It's just a spandex cap. You can also find this at your local beauty supply store. You can get a pack of two, I think, for like a dollar or two dollars. Um, I... I'm going to pull this all the way down. A lot of you guys were asking me why I bring my wig cap down so low. So I don't have a normal hairline. Um, I have a receding hairline. So where most people's hairline will start here, mine starts all the way back here. So this is where my hair starts. So I bring it down to just where I am personally comfortable. Um, to each its own, do your, or apply your wig cap right to where your hairline is. I just don't want it to be right where my hairline is because I feel like that's just too far back. It's a personal insecurity of mine. It's something that I'm still working through, but since um, since learning how to apply uh, the spandex cap and doing the bald cap method and being able to bring down my wig cap uh, or my wigs down to like where I normally would wear them, it makes me feel more comfortable. It makes me feel great about myself and it just works for me. So. With that being said, um, just apply your wig down to where you want it to be. I'm going to first cut out my ears so that way it is kind of secured to where I want it to be. I'm going to take my scissors. These are just like eyebrow scissors, eyelash scissors, scissors for everything. I'm going to take these and just kind of snip the cutout of my ear like that. So that way it's already pulled taut. It's exactly where 
um, my my wig cap is going to be held. So that's the first step. And then second step is to use the got to be glue blasting free spray. I don't know if other sprays work. You can try out other sprays. I do have another hairspray over here, just a miniature sample size that I got um, from when I went to an event a while back. But I use this. This holds really well and it's intense. Okay, let me tell you, it's intense. So the first thing you want to do is spray along. So all the way from the ear, all the way around. So you want to get a nice good coating. And then you're going to take your blow dryer um, your blow dryer can be on low, warm, or it can be on cool. It just depends if you want heat on your face or not. Um, I feel like with the cool, it doesn't dry down as fast. It takes a little bit longer. So I just use a warm low. So I just, I can see on the back of my blow dryer, this is so old. Um, I can see which one and I already have it there. So I already know, but let's go in with our free spray first. Okay, so I'm gonna apply a couple more layers. I think I'm gonna do two more just to really make sure that it's stuck. Um, I usually do two and it does me pretty well. Sometimes I'll do more than that, but I would say to do at least two to three layers of this glue before you start cutting. And a rule of thumb, just like the last time that you go in a spray, really make sure that you blow dry that this hairspray down so that way it's like you're like right over here, I can still still feel that it's wet. So I don't want to cut the, the excess um, spandex cap off until it's completely dry. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so next I'm gonna take a little bit of makeup. This is the Milk Makeup Matte Foundation. It's in the shade Golden Date. And I'm gonna take her and just kind of swoop that right there. And this is just going to make sure that the wig cap is the same color as your skin would be. So you can use um, powder foundation, you can use liquid foundation. Now, most people use this method to block out the hair as well. So it's to give the the lace a you know the same consistency the same color as you would wear um, on your face, but mainly most of my like forehead area where I would be like parted is um, like skin. So technically I don't need to do this, but I just do it just to to make sure that I do it. But you want to brush it backwards as well, and then. Make sure everything's covered. Like I said, you can use powder, you can use whatever you want to use for this step. So next I'm gonna take some scissors and I'm just going to cut the remaining lace. You want to make sure that the lace is laying flat. So all of this that's lifting up, I'm gonna go back around and chop off. Once I'm done. So the two straggle pieces in the back, I just like to tie in a knot and then tie in another knot. So I double knot it and then I just tuck it I tuck it right underneath of the cap, so it looks like that. So that's what I like to do. I'm gonna just get a little closer to the mirror and just really make sure that I got all of the part that's like lifting and folding cut off from my wig cap. Okay, so I'm gonna take my wig and apply it. Well, just basically put it on my head. Okay. 
So. I want to make sure that she is even around the base. Um, so since I'm not going to keep her on for a long period of time, sometimes I'll sleep with my wigs. Uh, if I'm going to sleep in my wigs, I will use this Daily Bond Lace Hold Glue. But today I don't think I will. I think I'm going to take her off or maybe wear her for a day and then go from there. So I'm gonna use the same got to be spray. I think I'm gonna do two layers. And then the second layer, I'm going to spray, or spray, and then I'm gonna blow dry just lightly the first layer, and then I'm gonna spray again, and then blow dry lightly, and then pull it down. And then we're going to start to remove the lace. I'm just pulling the lace and pulling it down to the edge of that bald cap that we just did. Um, I know, I know for sure over here it's a little too long, so I'm gonna have to cut that part off. But for the most part, everything else is fine. I mean, over here. The, the wig cap is showing a little bit, but that's okay. And the got to be spray um, seeped through the lace. That's also okay. I'm gonna take a couple of wig clips just to pin the hair back. Okay, so I've got a lot going on with the job I'm trying to get and everything. So I've just been kind of going along right now. But um, right now I'm just kind of thinning out the baby hairs as best as possible. Um, I don't know how I'm going to swoop these, swoop, swoop these. But I guess I need to figure it out. Because like I said, I think I'm going to wear the hair over so like this and then have the rest this way now i do know that you know having a super bleached hairline ain't ideal so i might pick up um i might pick up like a hair dye that's like a brown like this and then just kind of paint it along the edges but for the moment I'm cool with it. So I'm going to wear it to the side like this. Uh, or maybe you should wear it. No, I think I'm going to wear it over here. Okay. So I'm for sure going to wear it over here. It'll need to be wet again because it's drying, which it surprisingly dries pretty fast. So now I'm going to take my mousse. I really don't know what brand this is. It just says BB right here. So it's that brand, but I'm going to apply her along the edges and I use a brush like this so it has a comb on one side a bristle brush on the other side it has a comb on another side and like a like a spatula like on the other side And I fucked up the cap over here, but you know what? It's okay because I am a beginner and I'm gonna keep telling myself until I get it exactly how it should be that it's okay. And one of these days I will get it together.
lid is sticking. Um, I had it here. Oh. I'm going to apply my head scar right around the edges and look at my eyelid. Oh. So the one thing that solves all is alcohol. So if you ever have a problem, use some alcohol. I'm gonna tie the hair up just because it makes it a little bit easier. All right, so that's the end of the video for the moment. I will come back when everything is styled. I'll be back. So I'm going to take my hair down and spray it with some water. how the the hair goes from being like really poofy puffy not like really but like it goes from being like poofy kind of like bigger to being like really sleek and like wet it's really pretty and it doesn't look too 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 like brown because it is like a brown color and it doesn't look like extremely brown so it's super cute and it's so silky and curly. Hey guys. Oh my gosh, this is like the longest video ever, I'm sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This hair um, it just looks beautiful. It's very lightweight. It's not super heavy. It feels beautiful. It looks beautiful. This is how it looks. It's not too, 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 too crazy long. But it's long enough. It comes down to about my boobs where my boobs sit so it comes down pretty long but it's not super long to where it like feels heavy trying to swing it or whatever it may be that's not the case this is 20 inch once again that's about my like comfort area 22 i think is the longest that i've ever had and that was long but it was comfortable like it wasn't like crazy but i ain't trying to wear no like 30 or 24 or 26 28 or whatever I need to fix this side side of the wig. I really fucked this side up. This side turned out really, really good. Like that's what it's supposed to look like, and this side is a mess. So that's okay. That's okay. Looks good. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe before you go. I hope you learned something new. I will catch you guys in the next video. Mwah.